Hello, this is Sim Racing Corner and this is my Leo Bodner SLIM on a little stand that I made. A few days ago I showed you the SLIM and um, I talked about the sort of plans I had for it. And um, I wanted to just get it up and running and I looked online on Thingiverse, just a general Google search, look, looking for an enclosure for this um, for this device, and they just don't exist, which um, is quite annoying, really. So I ended up making my own. So this is uh, I modelled it um, basically a couple of days ago, and um, just got it up and running. So it's a very basic frame, and I do plan to make something a little bit more um, elaborate, full enclosure, maybe tighten up a bit of the elements here but as it stands it's pretty reasonable um, and yeah the only thing I'd like to do on this is maybe close up the gap between the LEDs on the left and right hand side just by a tad and maybe on the top there's a little bit of um, room which is unnecessary but not much it still looks looks fine when it's mounted behind my wheel and it works just no problem um, so you can just see there also there's a couple of uh, little extra bits of material I added in the print just to reinforce it. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I did it anyway. Um, a couple of things um, here is there are four screw holes on the board, but I'm only using the bottom two, and you only need to use the bottom two. The top two are in a really terrible place. They actually come out, um, and you can just see through that gap they come out right between these two LEDs, which is absolutely rubbish. So, um, uh, but it does hold firmly with just the bottom ones. So there you go, you can see it's uh, holding firmly. Um, the other thing you need to check out, so these are M3 screws. Is you can see, it's the board is running quite flush to the front of the frame. And that's because, and I'm not sure if I can get it in close enough, my camera, maybe I can, but, um, there is a small stack of M3 washers pushing out a little bit. So you do need that. It's, I think it's like five tiny little washers. If you have a nylon space, it's probably better because there is a couple of components you have to be careful of. It looks like um, a washer would maybe get close to um, shorting it on this side. It seems to be okay on this side. Uh, so if you do use this, you need to be careful. Um, but. And there you go. So yeah, I have actually uploaded it to Thingiverse because this doesn't exist. There is not a stand, there's not an enclosure for it. So I'm sure there's someone else out there who's in the same boat as me who has one of these SLIMs and would like to actually use it in some form and they can't. So um, I have put this up on Thingiverse. Check the link in the description. Um, it's there and um, I will, at some point I will make a a nicer enclosure and I will update it, update the video, also upload it to Thingiverse. Uh, but for now this gets the job done, um, it's fine, it sits um, it sits on my um, direct drive motor. I'm just using a bit of blue tack, it works, <laughs> it's okay. And uh, yeah, so it does mean I can use it and it's kind of cool to use because the SLIM is really nice, really, really bright LEDs which is great when you're uh, for the shifting. Um, since you don't have to look directly at it, you can just be, it's just in your, in your peripheral, you can see the things flashing away uh, uh, to indicate um, to upshift, which is absolutely great. So yeah, I do like using it. It's a nice little gadget, very simple, but gets the job done. And so does this frame. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in this, uh, check out my link on Thingiverse and you can have it for free. But um, yeah, anyway, well, I'll be back soon with something new. In fact, um, maybe quite soon because I am working on a, another little project here which um, I will not tell you what it's about yet but I will show you in a future video but until then happy simming take care and bye bye